Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is a cleaning video and it is in collab with a fellow YouTuber. Hey guys, I'm Ashley and my channel is Till Vacuum Do His Part and I'm doing an ultimate cleaning video just like Juliana and I would love when you're finished watching her video to come over and watch my video and stick around, check out my channel. I do a lot of vlogs, cleaning videos, DIYs, um, you name it, I do it. So I'd love to have you guys over over and if you like it please subscribe now I'm gonna send you back to Juliana's channel so that you can get started on her video if you are coming from Ashley's channel welcome thank you so much for watching my video and I really hope that you stick around and get to know us better I am Juliana and my daughter is Penelope who you will see throughout the video because she is always with me so I hope you guys enjoyed the video let's go ahead and jump right in Okay, so today I'm starting in our guest room slash makeup room. I haven't cleaned this room in forever. I finally got it all picked up and tidy up before we went on vacation. But I decided that I was going to start with the bedrooms today because I always clean the main area of my house, the living room, dining room, and kitchen. And sometimes when I run out of time or Penelope is getting fuzzy, I don't get to do the room. So this time I'm starting with the rooms and then moving into the dining room and living room and all that plus Penelope is awake right now so being in this room is a little better um, so she could just hang out with me and she just plays around and I am able to get stuff done real quick I just wanted to mention that these shelves are from Ikea I get tons of questions about them every time they come up in a video so I just wanted to let you guys know they're great and they are super inexpensive so to clean all these shelves, I am using first the Swiffer dry pads for the floor. You guys know I love these. I feel like they pick up dust so well. And like I mentioned, this room is super dusty. And then I'm going back in with my 7th generation wood cleaner. And then I am just wiping everything down with that. Even though this furniture is not wood, I do feel like it gives it a nice polish. And it also smells super good. To clean the blinds, I am just using the Swiffer duster with the extension just so I could reach all the way at the top. These windows are super high and I'm just wiping down the blinds because they are also dusty. So I just love the way that the dust sticks to this and it makes it super, super easy for me to reach. Penelope loves playing with anything that is not a toy but there's one thing that I get a lot of questions about and is if I'm not nervous that she'll go for the decorations on the shelves or any decorations around the house and the truth is that she never really goes for them like she doesn't really care for the decorations so I guess I am lucky if she ever does reach for something she's not supposed to touch I just saw her no very nicely and I repeated and she just doesn't touch it so <laughs> i feel like i get a lot of questions about that so i just wanted to mention it to you guys to clean this mirror i am using the grove collab glass cleaner concentrate you guys know i love this glass cleaner is by far the best one i've ever used um, I still have a campaign running with Grove. If you're interested, you could check out my description box. You could sign up and get tons of free things when you sign up. You guys know I love this company. I've been using them now for a while and I am so glad I, I signed up with them because it just makes life easier. And so many of you messaged me on um, Instagram letting me know that you subscribed and how much you love them. And this just makes me happy because you guys know I would never tell you to get something that I wouldn't get myself or that I don't love myself so when I get messages of you telling me that you love things that I recommend it as much as I do it just makes me happy <laughs> I just wanted to mention really quick, as you could see, Penelope is feeling much better. She's done with her medicine, which I think has also made 
a huge difference in her attitude and everything. Thank you so much for all your messages, all your positive vibes, prayers. She's doing much better and we're just really thankful. She still needs to go for an ultrasound, but I will keep you guys updated with that. So I actually put Penelope down for a nap towards the end of cleaning this room. So once I was done cleaning the dust, I decided to move on to our bedroom, which is on the other side of the house. That way I wouldn't make any noise for Penelope and she could sleep nicely. Um, you guys know she's a light sleeper, so I just moved on to our bedroom and she did take a nap for a long time. So I was able to get a lot done before she woke up. Here in our bedroom, I'm starting with our TV stand. Again, I am using the Swiffer dry pads and the 7th generation wood cleaner. This stand is actually wood, so it works out perfectly. And I am watching Friends, which is one of my favorite shows. Like, who doesn't love Friends? Did you guys used to watch Friends? I mean, I'm sure there's people that don't like it probably, but like, I love Friends. So they're always on TBS during the day and I don't get to watch a lot of like normal TV because if the TV is on, it's usually on cartoons. But when Penelope is sleeping, that's what I like to watch. What do you guys like to watch when your kids are sleeping? Moving on to the night tables, I am using the Swiffer dry pads um, just to wipe them down. They are kind of like this leather material, so I don't ever put any sprays on them or I try not to anyway. So I'm just taking all the dust with the Swiffer pads and then I am using the glass cleaner just to clean the mirror part of the tables because Penelope is constantly putting her fingers on them and putting her mouth on them because she loves mirrors. So I am constantly cleaning these off. I did clean my room before I left, so this one was definitely not as dusty or dirty as the other one, so I feel like I'm just moving a little faster over here. This is super random, but I'm still debating whether I should put away Penelope's jumper or leave it out for a little bit. She doesn't really use it that much, but if I'm ever in like a rush to get ready and she's awake, I could always put her in it and she would jump and watch some TV while I shower. Um, so that's the reason why I keep it out, but I really haven't used it that much. I don't know, I kind of want it out because I just want it out of the room. Um, but at the same time, I feel like if I put it away, I'm going to need it. Uh, why am I so random? Why am I telling you guys this? You guys probably don't care. But if you have an opinion, let me know in the comments. Should I put it away or should I leave it out a little longer?
So once I'm done wiping down everything in the bedroom, I am moving to our bathroom and I am just going to give it a quick clean because I did clean it really good before we went away on vacation. I was awake for two weeks, Tone was awake for almost a week, so not much happened here. I'm going to clean the inside of the toilet because I know Tone probably didn't take care of that. But I am just using Clorox wipes and wiping down all the counters and then I did spray some of the vinegar cleaner inside the um, sinks. I just forgot to record it but I am using my German chamois just to wipe them down and then I am using some of the glass cleaner to clean the mirrors because why does toothpaste always get on mirrors it's like it's crazy I mean I can't blame tone because sometimes when I brush my teeth it's just splashing everywhere but hey, I'm just being honest it happens to us I don't know if everybody does that but our mirror looks a mess even after the first time we brush our teeth after I clean <laughs> This side of the bathroom we know that we don't use that much so while I was gone Tone definitely did not use this part I probably could have just gone without cleaning it but here I am wiping it down. So you guys know that I try to use as many non-toxic products as I can because of Penelope and you know just because they're good for you but Clorox wipes is just something that I don't think I could ever stop using. I know there's other wipes in the market that are non-toxic and probably better for your health but I just feel like Clorox wipes are just great and they really clean everything. I don't know if it's in my head or is it because I'm Hispanic and I grew up with Clorox all around me <laughs> but I just feel like they really come in handy because they really clean everything and kill all bacteria and they might not be the best for your health but I like to use them and I like to use them when I'm doing a quick clean in the bathroom and in the toilet because I just feel like I could use one sheet clean it just throw it away um, I did clean the inside of the toilet with the method bowl cleaner but other than that I just use the Clorox wipes for everything else So you guys know that for the most part I like to vacuum all at once um, for example like just do the whole house and then same with mopping I just like to mop the entire house at one time but Penelope is still sleeping so I'm just vacuuming this side my bedroom the bathroom and then just moving on to the living room and I'm gonna go ahead and start picking up and cleaning the living room before she wakes up It seriously doesn't get old. When I see the lines when I'm editing the video, it just makes my heart happy. I don't know why, I know I'm weird. And I know a lot of you have told me that you love the lines too, but every time I'm editing a video and I see them, it just makes me happy. <laughs> Okay, so in the living room, I am starting with just tidying everything up, picking up anything that is out of place. As you could tell, it's a mess because I didn't really pick it up last night and me and Penelope played here a little bit in the morning. So I'm just putting everything away, fluffing up my pillows like I like to do every so often. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start wiping everything down. I'm starting with the TV stand and again I am using the Swiffer pads and the 7th generation wood cleaner. I did want to mention that I don't ever ever spray anything on any of my electronics. I just wipe them down with the Swiffer pads just to get rid of any dust that might be on them. But I don't ever spray anything on them. And then I am just using the same, the pads and the wood cleaner to wipe down all the shelves. Yesterday I realized that my fan was super dusty so I am using the Swiffer duster 
and the extension just to clean that and this comes really handy because this is the only way that I could clean this fan and I feel like it takes care of the dust really good. Moving on to the fireplace, I'm just taking everything down and wiping it down with the Swiffer pad just to get rid of any dust and then I am just wiping down the fireplace with the 7th generation wood cleaner. The reason why I always just use the duster or the Swiffer pads first is because when things get dusty or even if there's not a lot of dust, I just hate that film that forms when you just spray any liquid on them. I hate seeing that. I don't like it at all. So I like to first take care of all the dust and then go in with a spray and wipe it down. Moving on to the dining room area, I'm starting with this little table that I have laying here. I'm using the glass cleaner just to wipe down all these little glass decorations that are laying here and then using the wood cleaner just to wipe down these wood tables. And then I am going back with the glass cleaner to clean these doors. Uh, these doors need to be clean on the outside. Tom would do that uh, probably in the next couple of weeks because all you see is bugs. It's crazy. Once summer hits in Louisiana, the amount of bugs <laughs> drives me crazy. That's why we never ever really go outside because I feel like it's just infested with bugs. And we have sprayed all sorts of things, but there's just tons of bugs in the south, which sucks. But here I am using again my Swiffer duster just to clean the lamp because again, I saw it was pretty dusty. So I just went ahead and did that before I wiped down the table just in case there was any dust that may have fallen, I would take care of it after I wiped down the table. And all I did for the table was use the seven generation wood cleaner. It was already clean uh, from dinner last night. So all I did was just use the wood cleaner and that was pretty much to get rid of any dust that might have fallen on it. At this point, Penelope is still sleeping, so I am just moving on to the kitchen and I'm gonna go ahead and keep wiping everything down. I don't wanna start vacuuming or make any noise. I'm just taking full advantage of the fact that she's been sleeping for this long because I could get things done so much faster. So moving into the kitchen, I started with the hutch that's in front of the kitchen, just dusting everything off and then I am moving to the counters. The kitchen is pretty clean. I cleaned it after breakfast so I'm just giving it a quick wipe down and also polishing all the appliances with the stainless steel spray. To wipe down everything in the kitchen, I am using the Miss Myers multi-surface spray in the scent Peony, which I'm pretty sure is sold out everywhere, but this stuff smells so good, so if you find it anywhere, you should definitely get it. So I gave everything a quick wipe down, also the counters just because I saw some of Penelope's little fingerprints on them, and then I use the stainless steel spray for the appliances. I must say, Tone did a very good job at keeping the house clean. When I came back, there wasn't really much of a mess. And once I unpacked, I tried to put everything in its place. So cleaning wasn't as bad as I thought it would be.
I keep forgetting to mention that I've been using the Wayman. I think that's the name or how you say it. Um, the stainless steel spray. I did have the wipes and I know some of you love the wipes. I hated them. I felt like they were super greasy. So I decided to give the spray a try because so many of you recommended it and I do like it. I feel like I'm getting a better hang of it. If I spray less of it, I feel like it does a much better job. And I've been using a microfiber towel and I feel like that has made also a very big difference when I'm wiping stuff down. So, so far, I really like it. I'm not going to say I love it because sometimes I do feel it leaves some streaks, but... I do like it. So Penelope actually woke up towards the end of me cleaning the kitchen, which was perfect timing. The moment I got her from her crib, I went ahead and I gave her lunch because she's super hungry when she wakes up and that keeps her entertained. So while she was having lunch, I finished cleaning the kitchen and I started vacuuming and it worked out perfectly because by the time she was done eating, I could go ahead and vacuum the area where she ate, which is always a mess. The one thing I do like about not having rugs in the living room is that I could move my couches so easy to vacuum underneath them and I love that. And now Tone came home and Penelope is with him and I am just singing and dancing because Tone put music and Penelope is cracking up and she's also dancing. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that we were having a dancing party this day because she loves it and I just love making her laugh. So. That's why I am dancing and singing like a crazy person. Does anybody else's kid love dish towels or like kitchen rags? Penelope loves them. She's constantly pulling them off and wearing them as a scarf or on her head. It just makes her happy as you could tell here. I just think it's the funniest thing because she looks like a little old lady with them. Um, but I actually had some of my girlfriends say that their kids do the same thing. So I don't know if it's like every kid does this or it's just Penelope. <laughs> Like I'm not lying, I give her little blankies or just other stuff that she could drag around but she just loves the dish towels. She could just drag them all day long everywhere. They're constantly somewhere else besides the kitchen. Tone went outside to make a phone call so she's just following me around because she loves the vacuum. But then he came in and started chasing her. And she loves when he plays with her like that. <laughs> it's super cute. But once this whole living area of my house is clean, I am moving on to the other bedrooms, going back to the guest bedroom and vacuuming that room because I didn't do that before. And then I am moving to Penelope's bedroom and cleaning that as well. Okay, so something super annoying. You see that TV that is laying back there? We actually just opened it since we moved. We just kept it in the box because we didn't need it. And now we wanted to open it um, to put it in the guest room. And we cannot find the base for it anywhere. So we have no idea what the movers did with it. But now we really can't put it anywhere because we don't have a base to lay it on. So the only option that we really have is to hang it on the wall and I don't want to put holes on the wall so not sure what we're going to do anyways that was probably more nonsense you guys don't care about but back in Penelope's room I'm starting with her dresser just wiping everything down using the seven generation wood cleaner I also did a little vacuuming because it was extra dusty if I must say so myself <laughs> I guess I hadn't moved that little 
basket from there so it was pretty dusty so I just vacuumed that little area and just wiped it down I also changed the cover for her little changing um, table because I didn't do that before I left I meant to do it and I forgot to so I was doing it now and then I am using the Miss Myers um, multi-surface spray that I used in the kitchen just to wipe down this table and the things that lay on it and then I again moving on to the window and using the Swiffer duster just to wipe down all her blinds I'm also using the duster to wipe down this shelf and all the little things that lay on it and I am also using it to wipe down all the bookshelves and any decoration that's on the wall. So once everything is wiped down and all the dust is taken care of, I am finishing the room by vacuuming, of course. Then I'm vacuuming this little area between the bedrooms and I also decided to vacuum our guest bathroom even though I'm not cleaning it. Um, I cleaned it before I left and the only reason why we use this bathroom is to give Penelope baths and we weren't here for two weeks so I'm pretty sure Tone didn't use it so that's why I am not cleaning it today. But once I am done with all that I am just going back everywhere and mopping at the same time. So I started with our bathroom giving it a quick mopping and then moving on to the rest of the house. So the madness behind my mopping is I usually start mopping the places that I want dry first. So I started with the bathroom because I know I'm going to shower once I'm done mopping. So I want that to be dry by the time I am done mopping. Then I went into the living room because I know Tone and Penelope are hanging there. And then the dining room is right there. So I just did that. But once that area was all mopped, I moved to the front of the house. That way by the time I come back here, all this area is already dry and I am not stepping over any of the floor that I already mopped which is something that drives me crazy I see a lot of people doing and I don't understand it like why do you want to step on the floor that you just mopped even if you're barefoot I just don't think you should do it because it leaves marks and it just defeats the purpose so that's my madness behind mopping I don't know why I just told you guys that I just wanted to tell you how I do it because I know in the video it looks like I'm all over the place but yeah I just do the areas that I want dry first and I make sure that I am not stepping over anything that I already mopped alright guys so once I finish mopping I'm pretty much done the house is nice and clean and ready for us to dirty it up in the weekend because as you know I don't do a lot of cleaning during the weekend and if you are coming from Ashley's channel thank you so much for watching I hope you stick around and get to know us a little better leave me a comment letting me know that you're coming from her channel I would love to get to know you thanks for watching guys I hope you found this useful don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video